We're actually going to get to that breaking news now. Shots fired at Chicago police in the Mayfair neighborhood overnight related to that ramp closure. Now three suspects are in custody. Let's get right to Mugo Odigwe live at the scene with what we're learning this morning. Mugo. Yeah, good morning to you, Audrina and Dana. So as you heard from Chris there, the road is still closed. And here's why. I'm going to step out of the way and show you what things are looking like right now because over here you can see a police van just blocking off the roadway. We actually tried to get into the area from that roadway and we couldn't. And then as we pan further down, you're going to see why. Police officers still on scene out here. They're focused on the white Lexus you see on the roadway at this moment. Also several other police cars surrounding that white Lexus. Police say all of this started out when an officer spotted a car. That officer was on patrol. The car matched the description of the same vehicle wanted in an earlier incident involving an armed suspect. So listen to what we heard over police scanner radio. Pick a suspicious person, 4626 North Kenton. Someone in a black hooded sweatshirt is running in the neighbor's yard. Believes he's still in the area. Okay, so now take a look at this video here because this is near the area of Wilson and Knox. Chicago police tell us when officers approached this white Lexus, the same one we showed you earlier, which was parked nearby, several guys got out of the Lexus and started running away. Police immediately arrested one of them while an officer chased the other suspects. But that officer was forced to take cover after hearing multiple shots that were fired. Other officers soon arrived on scene and arrested two more more suspects. So in total, three suspects arrested. Police say four firearms were recovered at the scene. They also tell us no one was hurt in any of this and that responding responding officers rather did not fire their weapon. As of this morning, they say charges are now pending in this case. We're live in Mayfair. We go CBS News Chicago.